How y'all been? Hi, y'all been? <laughs> I know that I do have this little pumpkin set up here, but... <laughs> With the holiday season coming up, I think that this is probably the best time to kind of sit back and reflect on the past year and for me, especially the growth I've made as a person, as a creative, and honestly, all of the above. If you guys do not know, every December, I have done this series where I post every single day leading up to Christmas. And typically, vloggers call this, you know, vlogmas. But in past years, I've called it video miss and sing miss. And to be honest, I need to come up with a better title because I need something that really cultivates and encompasses every single piece of content coming out. So with this fun little nifty janky setup, honestly, I have decided that why not start off my little comeback season with a top five moments from this year. Essentially what I'll be doing is I'll be sitting here with you all discussing the top five moments that have made my 2023 something more unimaginable than I thought it would ever be. And for those who are new here, hi, my name is Liesl. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I sing a little here. I also fangirl. I dance, I document my life. I talk about really niche topics that I somehow have gained so much extensive knowledge on in the last 24 years of my life. So why should you care about sitting here listening to me rank my top five moments of this past year? Because the top ranked one will surprise you. But on a real note, at the beginning of the year, I used to make monthly check-ins where I would talk about how my year was going. And given my track record of stopping that series after a couple months into the series, I thought it'd be kind of nice to at least give myself one video where I talk about something. But yeah, no, that top thing though, really, really, really ranked everything. It blew everything out of the water. So I can't wait to get into it. Speaking of the holidays and preparing for all of the above, this portion of the video is sponsored. I do truly want to thank Ana Luisa for being the first brand to collaborate with me through my content here on YouTube and on my TikTok at Little Liesl. So for those who don't know, Ana Luisa is a jewelry-based company in New York City that sells affordable, sustainable, long-lasting, water-resistant, and tarnish-free jewelry pieces. Now, with pieces starting at $35, these quality pieces can elevate any outfit without having to really empty out your wallet. Ana Luisa offers free, fast shipping. Not to mention, they also allow for free exchange. That comes with free shipping as well. And have a two-year warranty on all of their products. Now, for all of those reasons that I've mentioned, I ultimately think Ana Luisa would make a great choice for a gift this holiday holiday season. Anna Luisa is also having their November sale for select items up to 30% off. Now for visuals, you can't really tell, but I'll kind of give you guys some close-up features. I'm currently rocking this layered look with the Seiya, Elise, and the Verena necklaces, along with this little bracelet which is the Lucy bracelet. Now, I have always wanted to be a bracelet girly, so I do have another video on this channel where I feature some more pieces. It's literally this one right here. It is where I talk about concert preparation, and I kind of show you guys some pieces in that one after, after you finish this one. While it'd be super biased and me to sit here and tell you that the number one spot on this list is being able to collaborate with Ana Luisa, I honestly believe that this feat in itself deserves a whole other list, a whole other video of its own it's given me such a boost as a content creator on youtube similar to the confidence boost i get when i wear the jewelry out in public to Anna Luisa, I just want to thank you guys so much for allowing me to be part of your 2023 story. And as always, I will go ahead and link my Anna Luisa link down below. If you're watching this, they are currently having their November sale. Again, everything up to 30% off. And shop while you have me talking to y'all in the background about some of the coolest things I think I have done this year. The, the number one spot on this list will surprise you. Now let's start off with number five and work our way up to number one. Number five seeing twice twice now as a once basically is the nickname for those who love the k-pop girl group twice i have been on edge for the longest time while their seven-year contract was expiring i was scared because this is the first k-pop group that i have kind of latched onto while yes blackpink was my gateway drug 
twice definitely locked me in for the long run and once they you know announced that they were still gonna be twice they announced their tour i knew that i had to be in that crowd to witness this special occasion this momentous occasion for the group itself so i bought tickets for the atlanta show and on their tour list atlanta was the last stop but coincidentally enough their first stop happened to be in la while i was in la for my own birthday trip and i somehow convinced my boyfriend to secure some tickets for that show and i was able to see them not only for the first time in la but also in sofi stadium and sofi stadium is probably one of the biggest stadiums in the united states so the fact that i was able to sit there and experience it all watching them continue their career watching them perform solo acts for the first time on stage to even have the opportunity to see that again when I went to Atlanta to go watch them with my little sister and my best friend. Incredible. Number four, my very first trip to LA. Now, when I went to LA, it was for my 24th birthday. I, I can hear it now, the crackling in my bones. <laughs> but I was really excited for this trip because when I thought of LA growing up, I literally thought the influencer capital of the world so i was so excited to see everybody you know out there with the little vlog cameras and i could just be like oh my god i'm also a youtuber but unfortunately i did not see a single influencer or a celebrity out when i was there for the weekend that i was if you count me as you know vlogging you could say i was out in the wild <laughs> I was able to experience so much of LA and I wish that I had a lot more time while I was there. It felt so nice being back in that time zone. Number three, speed running LA. Now, I am officially known as a menace to four individuals on this godforsaken planet, specifically the lovely group of individuals who trekked with me from the East Coast to the West Coast to attend the Head in the Clouds Festival in LA. Now, this is part of my second trip to LA, not to confuse it with number four but i did come back with a vengeance to explore a little more of la because i did not get to do that as much just due to scheduling and the weather when i went to la for the first time and i honestly believe we set great feats on this weekend trip by speed riding a lot of major spots in la going to both parks of disneyland the two-day head in the clouds festival and an eras tour show all in one weekend i believe we barely got less than 24 hours of sleep that weekend not to mention that the weekend almost never happened because three of us were stuck on a plane because it wouldn't deboard for 30 minutes and that was probably the most stressful 30 minutes of my life overall that entire weekend felt like the biggest fever dream of my life <laughs> number two manifesting my way into the eras tour now i will probably never ever ever shut up about this just because i finally got to experience taylor swift for the first time ever in concert and especially to be seeing her in la in sofi stadium even though it wasn't the show where she announced the 1989 re-recording it was still such a special show for me because I was able to not only watch it as the 24 year old sitting before you today, I watched it as the seven year old me blasting Fearless in the car because it was the first CD my parents had gifted to me. It was also every version of me watching every tour I had missed that Taylor had put on and 23 year old me back in may who made the silly little drive all the way down to atlanta which is six hours for me to barely see her through the stadium windows that's a that's a lot of dedication what's such a cool and remarkable thing was i remember at the show when she started she looked out into the crowd and she said you know i have a really strong feeling that a lot of you have made such a made a long and hard path to get here and that she was so excited to be able to perform for this crowd tonight and when she had said that it's almost like she knew i was there <laughs> delusion i know now to the very very top of this list number one head in the clouds new york girls trip to be honest this trip will go down in her story my story as one of my favorite girl trips to date i 
am always an avid visitor of New York because I have family up there. But I've never had the experience of also trying the foodie spots all over New York. So that was something that definitely stood out to me on this trip. We stayed in Flushing and my heart and stomach could have not been any more happier than those couple days that we just spent eating. This trip also marked my very first festival ever. And to experience it at Hen the Clouds was absolutely crazy because I think this lineup, this lineup slapped. We had a lot of my favorite artists, including Nikki, Itzy, XG, and Baba Doobie. Honestly, honestly, I feel like I am like the luckiest person in the world to have to have even like set foot in that stadium. <laughs> Not to mention, this uncovered a lot of my love for the artists rich brian dpr ian and live masaway warren hugh and dabin overall i feel like i am obviously blessed with this with the opportunity to travel and to see many of my favorite musical acts this year and that's honestly due to the nine to five lifestyle that i have and while it has the ups and downs it has definitely brought me so much joy over this past year especially just after you know the weird year I had in 2022 I have never been more just happy to be just to be here <laughs> that's really it depression gone <laughs> So nothing has fueled me more than to remain consistent as a 20 something year old trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life by you know telling myself i have these cool experiences that life has to offer still the journey while it might be long is so worth it to get wor to where i want to be on top of all of this i'm so excited that i get to bring you on this fun little journey that i call my life and also bring you guys into the holiday series that's coming up so i really hope to see all of you there as a quick reminder don't forget about the anna luisa november sale that is going on right now check it out and feel free to watch another video here here <laughs> it's a good one trust me and to subscribe to my channel right here thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one Beep boop